in between the panic, it's, I don't know, it's good. It's bizarre. I think bizarreness is uh, the main emotion, befuddlement. What kind of bizarre? What does that mean? It's, it's not experience to have gone through. It's not like a job. It's not like an uh, undergrad or a master's. It's an element of isolation, but there's all these other people under this strange pressure as well. Do you think you've become an intellectual or you were one before? I don't know. What's an intellectual? <laughs> Someone who asked that question. <laughs> okay. I think I probably was then before. I'm just very confused, but I was very confused before. So would you describe your PhD as a straight shot up or like lots of roller coaster bumps, ups and downs? It's like a, a Mobis strip. I'm caught in a loop and I can't get out. So is this a horrible thing to be on? It depends what element of the loop I'm in. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. But I'm sure I'll look back on it and be sorry it's over. But I will look forward to having money and not having holes in my shoes anymore. Well, you have holes in your shoes? Oh yeah, look. The PhD did that to you or what the happened? PhD has done this to Well, I mean, shoes don't matter during the PhD. How about hygiene? No, hygiene, I'm maintaining a minimum standard, but only because society demands it. But do you feel like you're a tortured soul? Eh, not particularly. Sometimes. The long hours are nasty. The money, terrible. But uh, those things don't bother me a huge amount. No one respects a PhD in philosophy outside so, of academia. Do you regret your decision? No, 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 no. I think it was good. Like I said, it's an odd thing to do, especially now that I'm 31. So to have done it at this stage is kind of odd when everyone else is getting serious jobs and money and buying property and so on. And to have stepped out of that is, well, it's different, but uh, makes it interesting. Are any of your friends or people you had gone to school with, your peer group, mm. are they doing PhDs as well? Well, uh, I know one or two, but uh, no, not many. So, Can you relate uh, to them anymore? Um, well, there's always sport, so that works. But uh, I mean, not, not in these kind of things. No, they, they look at me as if I have two heads. They think you're idiotic, that you're sacrificing money and other things? I think so, yeah. Uh, Do you think you're idiotic? Yeah, sometimes, but uh, it's very hard to get a clear perspective on it. Um, so there's lots of payoff moments. Sitting around during the afternoon when my friends are working in office jobs and I'm having coffee, that's, that's a payoff moment. Long hours, do you choose basically when to work or how long your day is? All my vices have come to the fore. <laughs> what would their vices be? Distraction, lack of discipline, <laughs> procrastination, neurosis, caffeine addiction, the battle with a nicotine addiction on and off. It's terrible, but uh, fun. <laughs> how about psychological health? Are you okay? I think so overall, yeah. I think, I mean, every so often I get a bit stressed out. What does stressed out look like for you? What happens? Irritable. Just, I don't know, sometimes you'd feel a bit down and you'd question everything. Why have I done this? What a waste of time. What a fool I've been to have done it. But these don't happen too often, I don't think. So overall your ego is not too bruised? I don't think I have an ego anymore. What happened to your <laughs> ego? It's been dissolved by philosophy. I don't believe in the self. <laughs> so you're nothing? Uh, I am nothing. But I'll have a PhD after my nothing, so I guess that's a bonus. Dr. Nothing? Dr. Nothing. <laughs> Dr. Nothing of nothing. How important is the actual word doctor before your name? Are you really looking forward to that? I don't care at all. But I was thinking about it. It will look good when I begin to pay back my debts. The bank managers and phone bill people who are after me, they'll see that I'm a doctor and I think that will... That'll give me some satisfaction. How does your body respond to all this thinking, writing, and mental work you've been doing? Strangely, I've become like an Adonis. Puzzled me as much as anyone else. Oh, I have now the body of a Greek god. Are you being serious? Obviously, look at me. <laughs> Thank God this is on radio. And do you think that the PhD has made you apolitical, that you're almost too thoughtful or too theoretical to have strong opinions about politics? No, I'd say I have stronger opinions now about politics. Even more bombastic? Not bombastic, I'm simply right. I, I've gained true knowledge. Um, I'm probably more skeptical though about political discourse and I think I think a lot more clearly about like, the political situations uh, than I would have before. Well, during the PhD have you had any kind of fantasies about an ideal career? No, not really. Not a, not a career as such. I mean I have fantasies of megalomaniacal power. Dictatorhood or? Well yeah, enlightened dictator. And, you know, then you think, oh, well, if, if I were in charge, I would solve this and that. I mean, I'm looking at policies and looking at political philosophies, so I suppose that goes with the territory. But no sort of fantasies of, fantasies of winning the lotto and how I'd surround myself with beautiful objects and live in an island and never work again and read all the things that I thought I'd have time to read during the PhD and haven't had time.